Hey, this is Cherry, and I'm so excited to talk to Gerald Jones. How are you doing, Gerald? I'm good. How are you? I am so excited. I got a chance to see Vampires versus the Bronx, and I loved your characterization of Bobby. How much fun was it to play this uh, kid who's trying to navigate being a good friend but being pulled by bad boys? Yeah, it was it was really fun, and it was a uh, you know it was a it's a real thing that happens in in the real world, so. It wasn't um, hard for me to connect with the character because I actually, you know, know a couple of people that are struggling with that, you know, so it wasn't it wasn't super duper hard to connect with Bobby, but it was a really fun experience. Now, when you got the audition for the role, did you know it was going to be that type of horror comedy or did they kind of keep it secret to get a really good uh, audition? Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be a horror. I didn't know it was going to be that crazy thing that it ended up being, but um yeah, I just knew that I was a character from the Bronx. Uh, I, I previously have gotten auditions before that about, you know, just being a kid from New York. I'm from New Jersey, but like I could, my mom is from New York, so that's probably where I get it from. She grew up in uh, the Bronx, so I was probably, that's probably why I was able to, you know, I just have that in my bloodstream. But yeah, it was, uh, it, it was, it was, I didn't even know, to be honest, I didn't even know I was going to get the role because, uh, a script, there was like an extra scene that I did not get for my character. So I had to read one extra scene, just, just looking off the paper and trying to like, you know, make it as real as possible. So I didn't even know I was gonna get the role, but you know, all glory to God, I got the role. Well, glory to God. And of course, black boy and black Hispanic kid magic. I was so excited to see the relationship between the three boys and the girl. Uh, did you guys get a chance to uh, get to know each other before script before um, screening started to get that chemistry together? Yeah, we, we got a chance to meet each other beforehand. Um, you know, it was a really good experience. The first time I met uh, Greg and Jaden, it was actually at a, um, a Yankees uh, baseball game. But actually I met Jaden, I met Jaden beforehand actually, cause we worked on another show called The Get Down. Now- Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, The Get Down. Now, the crazy thing is my part, it was like a smaller role than Jaden. He, he got like a bigger role than I did. My, my role, last minute, they told us, like, they, they cut it out. And we were there all day. We filmed, and then they, they cut out my part. That's just how it is sometimes. It was cool, though. It was a cool, cool experience. But, yeah, that's where I met Jaden at first. And then uh, I met Greg and Jaden uh, again uh, at uh, the uh, Yankees baseball game with Oz. And we just talked. We just, you know, it was honestly an instant bomb. We all are like, we're, you know, me, Greg, and Jaden are really similar, our type of comedy, the things that we're interested in. So, it wasn't really hard, you know, we really, it was really an instant bond between us, so, yeah. So being in this vampire movie, did you watch any vampire movies or read any comics to sort of get a better feel for how you want it to be physical uh, fighting the vampires? You know, honestly, I didn't, I didn't even have to do that because the more, it was like the vibe, I was just going off of the vibe of it. Oz was really free uh, with letting us just be grounded and real and any ideas that we had, we could put our input in. And I feel like you know, for this one, I don't think it, I had to do too much like studying. It was really like a straightforward, this is my character. Uh, and I really, all I really did was just try to be myself the most, you know, as much as possible because it was a really, you know, just, you didn't have to do too much for the character. He did really, the writing was really good. And, you know, I was just able to be myself. So, yeah. What was it like filming on the set in such a diverse cast and being led by the director. This is one of um, his first big films. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. You know, it was my first, because I previously uh, did a film called Benji the Dove, which is my uh, first film ever, independent film. But this is my first feature film. Uh, this is my, uh, you know, so it was always, it's a new experience. So, you know, I always love new experiences. Everybody in the cast was very, really kind to, uh, to me and whoever came with me. My aunt came most of the time with me and they, they loved her, they, they treated her, you know, really well. So I just appreciate everybody that I worked with, you know, for just making it easy. Like I said, Oz, you know, he, he allowed us to do whatever we really like, if we had an input, if it made sense to the story, he allowed us to work, he allowed us to just, you know, do what we wanted to do and put our own, have our own thoughts and, and put it into the character, so yeah. That sounds awesome. And today with so many streaming services wanting content, did it sort of make you think I'd like to produce or direct or write myself? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually writing something right now, uh, right now, you know, I can't, I'm not going to say too much about it, <laughs> but 
I'm uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't like to say anything <laughs> until it's like actually finished. But yeah, so uh, over the past couple of months, I've really just been, you know, during this quarantine time, I've had a lot of time to really just think about what I wanted to do with my life. And I was like, you know, I, I really like just creating like even more like I love acting and I love art in itself, but the creating part, because I, I write raps too, I, I, I make music, produce music. So that that's the, the core of it. That's the love. I love creating stuff. So definitely, definitely. And, and you know, things like this, this movie coming out, things like just everything I've been a part of, it just helped me uh, understand what I really wanted to do even more. So definitely want to create more. So Gerald, you sound like a very young Renaissance man. So I'm assuming you can probably dance. And if need it be, you could have um, gone on the skateboard or rode the bike yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do know how to do those things. <laughs> I don't know you how to skateboard. I, I know how to ride a bike, but I do not know how to skateboard, but uh, I can know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not very athletic like that. And um, while you were working on the movie, I know it was done before the COVID, but did you get a chance to watch the movie with the other guys uh, from the movie? Since I assume you guys all live in the New Yorkish area. Yeah, we Not did. that I want to say exactly where you live. Yeah, like a, a couple of weeks ago, we went over to my aunt's house, my aunt and my uncle's house, and we all watched it together. Now, I think I think they saw it before me, Jaden and Greg. I think they saw it before me, but you know, it was cool. You know, we were just able to see it all together. It was my first time. I really was just, I was just silent. I was really, honestly, I was really just nitpicking myself. I was trying to see just anything I could have worked on or anything like that. The second time I was able to watch it, I was just, I was looking at the whole movie in itself. But the first time, I don't know. I think uh, that's something a lot of actors could probably relate to, you know, when you see yourself, especially when you're not, you haven't been in a, something that was this big before. You want to really make sure you did your thing and just see if you can make any adjustments in the future. But it, it was a really good uh, movie. I really liked it. Now, what was one of your favorite um, scenes to shoot? I'll tell you what mine was. I was watching you guys um, enjoy Blade. That's one of my favorite all-time nerd movies. But yeah. what was your favorite scene to shoot? My favorite scene to shoot? Hmm. Honestly, it was probably because, okay, so it was probably the one with Henny with the gun. And, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but it was probably the one with, uh, I think I can say this. It was the one, yeah, the one with me and Henny and, uh, you know, they were trying to, basically Bobby was just at his, uh, he was really scared. It was a bunch of gangsters, mobsters around him and he just couldn't take it anymore. He was like, nah, this is, this is not me. Like, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be here. He was like, I go to the bathroom right quick. Let me get out of here. And he went out the, uh, the uh, he just jumped out the apartment. And that was like, I think Oz, he said that was like one of his favorite scenes too. Because it's just, you know, I, I like how that's a, like, I, I'm really into things that are real, you know, like that, uh, that have to do with real life as well. You know, you got the fantasy with the vampires, but I really like things that are, are real and they address real topics. So that right there was, was a, I, I really like that scene. I like that scene as well, because he made a definite choice about what path yeah. he wanted to go on. Now, it looks like you really jumped out the window. Did you guys, uh, did you get hurt or anything from any of the uh, the scenes? Because it looks like a fairly active movie for you guys jumping, falling, getting hit. Yeah, no, we had we had stunt doubles, so it's, it wasn't it wasn't like we were going super duper crazy with it, you know. I mean, yeah, but yeah. So I, I mean, I think I, I think I, I did go out the window a couple of takes, but I think they all they had enough. They had a stunt there too. They had a stunt double too to make it look a little more, you know, crazy. But yeah, I didn't get hurt. It definitely fooled me because I thought it was you going out that window, and I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't get hurt. That little yeah, yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, it would have been bad. Now with times changing and more representation in movies, is there an actor or even actress whose career uh, trajectory you'd like to sort of mimic? Or maybe if the um, dream happened, that would maybe uh, mentor you? Mm, yeah, I definitely would want to work with Donald Glover, uh, a couple of people, Donald Glover, Jordan Peele, uh, and for them two first, because they, they do everything. You know, they write, direct, act, of very talented people you know one of one of my idols actually i got the chance to meet him when i was uh, like about two years ago for like for a callback for his show david makes man uh, terrell mccraney he wrote uh, moonlight 
you know, and I didn't realize, I didn't realize that, um, that he was such a big inspiration until I like re until I grew up until I went through stuff and I rewatched Moonlight. That's, that's the beauty of art too. But I looked, I watched, I rewatched Moonlight and I was like, Whoa, like this is, this is crazy. This is a really good movie. And I was like, Oh wow. I really got to meet him. I didn't even know that he was going to impact my life that as much as he did when I, uh, when I grew up, but yeah. Um, let's see Mahershala Ali, Denzel Washington, Samuel L. Jackson, Morgan Freeman. I, I could keep going, but let me, let me just stop it there. Let me just stop it there. And uh, William Jackson Harper. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Those are some really good actors who have been in front and behind the camera. And they're definitely people that I could imagine you um, following in their footsteps. I love your passion. And if somebody wants to hear your other creative endeavors, you were saying that you like to rap. Uh, what's your social media uh, channel that we could check you out? Okay, so my social media is Jer uh, on Instagram, it's Gerald Jones TV, and on YouTube, it's also Gerald Jones TV. Now, I, I had a, I had previous wraps up, and I took I'm, I'm restarting because I, I know I can do better. So I wiped it off, and then everything, pretty much everything I saw on my social media is uh, about the movie. And and uh, I was in another, I was in a show called Blue Bloods, and it was like a scene from there. But I'm gonna start making more stuff again because I, you know. I've gotten a lot better. I took the time off. I was like, let me let me relax with posting stuff because that was a time where I was posting like, you know, a good amount of stuff. I was like, let me let me wipe this off because I know I can do better. Let me restart my mindset and let me just focus and key in. So the new stuff that you uh, that's, that's going to be coming out is going to be a lot way better than my other stuff. So yeah. Well, I cannot Gerald. wait to hear. Oh, sorry, I cannot wait to hear it, Gerald. Thank you so much for talking with me. Congratulations on vampires versus the Bronx, and um, I hope to see you really soon on my TV or once things get back to the new normal and a uh, movie theater. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm, I'm being in the front row. I'm being yeah. in the front row. <laughs>